this session we are going to see the trigonometric identities and how to get that identities for that uh, you have to see our earlier session that is uh, based on trigonometric ratios in terms of coordinates of a point then we got certain results that we are going to use here to derive the trigonometric identities so the first result that we got first is uh, x square plus y square is equals to r square where r is the radius of the circle and x and y are the coordinates of that point on that circle now then we got the relation of sine function that is sine theta we got y by r cos theta we got x by r tan theta is y by x then uh, reciprocal of this function that is cosec theta is r by y sec theta is r by x and the cot theta we got x by y so these are the uh, six relation that we got uh, of different trigonometric functions now we are going to derive the uh, different identities here so we got this relation that x square plus y square is equals to r square now if we divide this equation throughout by r square what we get here is now dividing dividing throughout by throughout by r square so what we get here is x square upon r square plus y square upon r square is equals to r square upon r square so this r square r square will get cancelled here we can write this as r upon sorry x upon r the whole square and this we can write y upon r the whole square equals to 1 so what is x by r x by r is nothing but cos theta so in this in the place of this we can write cos theta the whole square plus what is y by r it's y by r is sin theta so sin theta the whole square equals to 1 so that is nothing but sin cos square theta plus sin square theta equals to 1 that is we can write sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 so this is the uh, one identity that is very useful and uh, we can write this also in that sin square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta efficient cos square there so it will become 1 minus cos square theta and if we write cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta so these are the very useful identities that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 or we can write this as sin square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta and cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta so this is the first identity now we will derive the second identity so you can write this identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 now now we will divide this equation earlier we have divided by r square now we will divide this equation throughout by x square so what we will get the result is if you divide this by x square we will get x square upon x square plus y square upon x square plus sorry equals to r square upon x square now x square x square get cancelled here so we will get 1 I can write this as y by x the whole square is equals to r by x d whole square now 1 plus what is y by x y by x is nothing but tan theta so in the place of y by x we can write tan theta the whole square is equals to what is r by x is nothing but sec theta so sec theta the whole square so that is nothing but 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta so this is the another identity that is very useful that is 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta or we can also write that sec square theta minus tan square theta 
is also equals to 1. If you shift this tan square there, so 6 square theta minus tan square theta will be equals to 1. So this is the another way of writing this identity. Or we can write this also, for example, uh, tan square theta is equals to 6 square theta minus 1. If you shift 1 there, so it will be tan square theta equals to 6 square theta minus 1. So this is also one of the most important identity that we are going to use. 1 plus tan square theta equals to 6 square theta. We got this identity when we uh, divided this equation through or by x square. Now, uh, we will see the next, that is last identity here. We have divided by r square, we have divided by x square, now we will divide it by y square, so we will get the new identity. So, the next identity that we are going to get here is dividing throughout by y square. What we will get here is x square upon y square plus y square upon y square is equals to r square upon y square. So, here you will get x upon y the whole square plus this will get cancelled, you will get 1 and this will be r upon y the whole square. Now what is x by y? x by y is nothing but equals to cot theta. So can I write this here? cot theta the whole square plus 1 is equals to what is r by y? r by y is nothing but cosec theta. So we will write here cosec theta the whole square. So now cot theta it will become cot square theta plus 1 is equals to cos x square theta. Or we can write this as 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cos x square theta. Now we can write this as uh, again cos x square theta minus cot square theta will be equals to 1. If we shift this on the right hand side, so it will be cos x square theta, this will become minus cot square theta and will remain here is 1. So that will be nothing but cos x square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1. Or you can write uh, here that <coughs> 1 is equals to 1 is equals to or in terms of cot, so cot square theta will be equals to uh, cos x square theta minus 1. So cot square theta is equals to if we shift 1 there, so cos x square theta minus 1. So this is the another identity that is very useful that is 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cos x square theta. So this is how we can get all these three identities by dividing this equation 1 uh, when we divide it by r square. So we got sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. And when we divided this by x square, we got 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta. And when we divide this by y square, we got the another identity that is 1 plus cos square theta is equals to cos x square theta. So, I write all the identities here. Sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. And 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta. And 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cos x square theta. So, this three identities are very important. So this is how we can derive all these three identities. So in the next session we are going to see the problems that are based on these identities. Till then all the best. Thank you.